Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for everybody that is watching. I'm Yesi Osetia, the Chief of Information and Digital Officer at Excel Axieta. Today, I'm going to share with you our journey uh, to improve our digital touch point for customer experience. But uh, before we start, I would like to um, tell you about who is Excel Axieta and uh, in what uh, industry we are working uh, working on. So um, Excel Axieta is part of the Axieta Group, uh, one of the largest telecommunications conglomerates in Asia. And uh, Excel Axieta itself, we started the operations back in 1996. And today, we are one of the largest cellular uh, operator in Indonesia. Um, we have a very comprehensive network uh, with more than 58.7 million of uh, subscribers today. And uh, we have a, uh, a goodwill of more than 144,000 uh, base stations across the country. Uh, and if you don't know Indonesia, uh, from Sabang to Merauke, we've got more than 13,000 islands that we need to cover. And um, right now, uh, we have more than 95% of popul uh, uh, population coverage in Indonesia. Uh, a bit about our company. Um, we, have, uh, we have a vision uh, that is to be the first converged or integrated operator in Indonesia. And what does that mean? Converge because uh, we are not only going to serve mobile, but also uh, going to serve home broadband as well. And as a company, we have a purpose to bring the world closer in a simple way for a brighter life. And this would mean, you can imagine with 250 million people uh, with connectivity, then we are able to bring them, bring them closer. Our strategy comprises of uh, what we call 3R, uh, uh, especially after the pandemic, we are looking at reimagining three things. One is reimagining our market, reimagining our operations, and also reimagining our new way of working. And I would tell about that in my talk today. And uh, to uh, close this off, all of our uh, operations is basically is uh, based on the foundation of a good culture, which look at uncompromising integrity, uh, team synergy, simplicity, and exceptional performance. So that's a bit about our company. Um, <clears throat> in, uh, uh, in here, we are uh, basically would like to uh, show you that um, from 2018 until 2020, you could see that uh, we keep on expanding in terms of number of subscribers that is using data and also our smartphone penetration. And this rise uh, actually indicates a new trend in our customer demand because with the new device, with a uh, better connectivity through internet, uh, they would like to start moving in terms of customer behavior from the old way of uh, engaging with us to the new one, which is uh, more uh, digitally advanced. Now, um, with COVID-19, uh, actually, I think, and this is also something that uh, I think resonates with a lot of the uh, with a lot of the other operator is that uh, the situation has accelerated the adoption of digital touch point, right? So when we st first started uh, um, our applications, uh, um, probably it's in the mere of hundreds. Uh, now it's already more than millions that is uh, downloading our, our applications. And if we see in terms of number of transaction, from previously, our customers' are, uh, preference is actually to go to the mom and pop shops and making the transaction there with COVID-19, with the limitation of mobility, with the limitation of going out, and also the fear of meeting out, then people is start moving 
and looking for alternatives when they are engaging with us. And in our case, it's actually through our apps, um, which is my Excel. Okay, so when uh, you have the transaction move from the uh, traditional channel now becoming digital, suddenly we face a challenging issues, right? Um, and not only that, we also have a very high ambitions of moving 90% of our transaction to our own channel, which is the apps, uh, the uh, touch point that we currently have from traditional channel in uh, four to five years from now. So you can imagine that the growth is actually really expo exponentially high, right? So, um, and uh, when we are looking at our uh, applications and when we are getting the feedback from our customer, there are uh, a, a couple of things that is uh, really prominent, right? Uh, one is um, uh, one of the feedback that, um, that we got is that low reliability. And uh, what they mean actually when we dig up further is that, okay, when they click something, uh, it's not apparent um, how long does it take. Uh, notification is not, uh, is not as real time. Sometimes the transaction is uh, uh, take longer. And if it fails, uh, uh, there's nothing uh, uh, back to them, right? So they, they, they don't know where the transaction is are. The other one is also uh, low engagement because uh, uh, probably the way that we construct the apps itself, it's not really engaging to the, to the end customer. Uh, so uh, I list down some of here, uh, the challenge that we face. So, um, for example, delayed bonus or delayed uh, uh, points fulfillment. So when you are already uh, using digital channel, expectation is very high. When uh, the customer is clicking on something, they would like to see, okay, right away, especially if, if it is related to them, uh, where is their bonus? Uh, how much do they get on uh, the point that uh, they are requesting, right? And... Uh, the order that we went before is around uh, 15 minutes uh, to 24 hours. And this is uh, because um, in the, uh, a lot of our uh, coding, we are also doing a lot of uh, reiteration internally. The other example is that uh, undelivered notification. I mentioned to you earlier, the expectation of the subscriber when they are using our touch point uh, they click on something, there are a feedback uh, uh, because it's not something uh, that they used to. When they are talking face-to-face -face with a person before, if they go to shop, they know what happened. The other person can actually give a response, right? Okay, although probably the transaction takes time as well, but they can say, okay, you can wait a bit, right? But if it is only you and the applications and you click on something and there is nothing back, then it uh, creates um, uh, an anxiousness yeah, to the, to the uh, customer. And the third one, uh, and it is more towards uh, ourselves, it's actually a long time development. And why uh, this is the case? Because uh, as we are building up the coding, right, it's built uh, uh, one uh, on top of the other, one on top of the other, right? And it creates a very complex uh, development. And with that, of course, it will take time for us to uh, launch uh, something uh, to the market. And as you can see in the graph um, on the right side, uh, that's pretty much the architecture that um, um, we are doing uh, before, right? That creates our, our challenge. Right? So now the question is that then um, how uh, to mitigate this? Um, and uh, we are looking at the whole uh, transformation that we are doing in IT. And one of uh, the things that we know we need to uh, put in place and change our architecture is uh, by putting in an event-driven architecture. And uh, the um, event-driven architecture is really helping us to address the challenges that I mentioned before. Um, 
uh, if you can see in the in the graphic on the left side, right, uh, the change is that now we are trying to break down or separate uh, between um, the functions that uh, um, we are uh, geared towards, for example, the points calculations and so and so uh, forth, um, and the event itself. Uh, and by separating this layer, uh, you will be able to get a very quick and very fast response and very good performance uh, uh, in the applications that we are doing. So some of the characters that we saw in an event-driven architecture, including like asynchronous messages, right? So that, okay, you fire and then you actually uh, get to the next message and then you fire again. And when the response is there, and then you uh, uh, get the response and try to tie it back and then give it back to the customer. And that uh, proof uh, really improves uh, um, our performance. Uh, and then the other, uh, the other things that we make use of is the out of the box multiple deployment platform. So um, it's already have um, a set of uh, 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 connectors that we can just use it out of the box and connect with um, the other uh, databases or the other uh, system that uh, we required for us to make the event-driven uh, uh, architecture runs, right? And with this, what we can, uh, what we can get or what, uh, what is the result is basically if we, is before we've got a challenge of delayed uh, points or bonuses, now we've got a real-time points and bonuses, right? And we keep on, uh, we keep on a tab or, or measure what is actually the performance. Uh, and that is becoming our SLA to our customer as, as well, right? So uh, now it's really in the milliseconds order. And that uh, obviously creates the uh, satisfaction on the customer level. If, if initially when we uh, ask them, uh, they've got a very low engagement uh, to our apps. Now, um, with a real-time uh, calculation, with the real-time points uh, that is feasible to them, of course, the engagement is actually increased, right? And it also brings the reliable notification message. Again, right, it's really different uh, handling a customer face-to-face -face with only the apps. So now, with whatever that they're doing, they will be. They will know, right? Okay, what is next, or what is happening next? And those are uh, those notifications are delivered really real time, and really fast to market. Because by separating the architecture, now you create a simple layer uh, between what is the event and where is actually the complication lies, right? So that segregation is actually help us in terms of developing things and rolling it out to the market as well. Okay, the question is that, okay, after my Excel, then what's next, right? Of course, we've already got uh, a lot of plans in the pipeline to roll it out more. One of the pillar that we are going to concentrate on is broadening our uh, digital touch point, right? Basically, start implementing the event-driven architecture to our other uh, touch point. And that will include our uh, other line of business, uh, our uh, other products, right, in the market. So that is that is one. The next one is we are also going to uh, use it to integrate with the other applications. Uh, one of the things that we are uh, looking at is actually campaign management. Now, uh, uh, we just launched our next best offer. Yeah, in next best offer, it's not only... Uh, using the analytics to find, okay, you are the, um, uh, the, you are the profile that you would like to send the campaign to, but also the fulfillment part. Fulfillment means that, okay, then we need to start engaging our customer and get uh, the feedback and uh, do the uh, campaign fulfillment, of course, right? And if previously we are uh, integrating through our uh, other architecture. Now we are segregating it again and applied the same architecture that we put in Touchpoint 
to our Kanban management system. Now you can probably start thinking, okay, how powerful will that be, right? The other part that we are also put in uh, our pipeline is our NPS, uh, Net Promoter Score Management, right? So um, how you will get the um, uh, NPS? The traditional way of doing it is actually by doing a survey uh, every month or every quarter, depending on what you would like to understand, right? But wouldn't it be more powerful if the customer just complete an event and you're actually asking them, okay, how would you find this um, uh, to your satisfaction, right? Is it like too slow? Is it too uh, 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 not responsive or something? Uh, is there anything that you could, you could give uh, feedback right away? And uh, as we are really focusing on our customer experience, now we are using the same architecture, even driven architecture, even for our NPS management. And the third pillar that we are uh, going to focus on is of course in internally, we also need to do a data synchronization with the other system. And we see the use of the same architecture can also be applied there. And uh, this is basically then a multiple functions that we can use uh, uh, for uh, different use cases. So that is actually a good thing. So now uh, let's move on to uh, what we can do as a company, uh, of course, with uh, Solace as, a, as our partner, right? So what we have in place is uh, we are not going to stop here. We're also going to see, okay, further collaboration with Solace. And um, some of the things that we have in mind, including... Uh, customer support to maintain platform stability because when you roll it out, uh, yes, it's there. But then after that, what? Because this is quite new in terms of architecture. We need to make sure that the platform itself is actually stable. So we need to focusing on customer support, right? The next one is as a lot of other uh, partners in the world, right? Uh, start adopting the event-driven architecture, it would be very beneficial if, if uh, in this kind of events, or uh, we've got also a dialogue uh, going on to see probably there are other use cases that we haven't thought about, or we've got issues with that we can actually talk uh, with each other. So that is uh, another plus point. And uh, of course, um, uh, lastly, uh, looking at um, best and fit business model, because as uh, I think uh, a lot of you, and this is also a resonance to a lot of uh, the audience as well, right? As uh, the business progress in terms of uh, challenges that we have uh, financially as well, there should be a, a, a kind of probably different business model that we can actually apply moving forward in how we can adopt this in a, uh, a scale up or massive scale in terms of um, uh, enterprise adoption. So I think uh, with that three, uh, um, Excelaxiata, uh, very grateful in the partnership with uh, Solace and using the um, Solace platform for our event-driven uh, architecture. And uh, as probably you've uh, seen the spirit, uh, we are really pursuing the best NPS, Net Promoter Score. And we also would like to be the most uh, efficient of telco operator in Indonesia. And then with that, uh, thank you very much uh, for um, uh, this time for sharing session.